Hello my sweets! Today we're going to look at a few tips for inking in a drawing. So um, this is the traditional inking tutorial. I will probably make one about digital inking at some point. But for now let's just look at a few tips and tricks to make your ink drawing look a whole lot better. So the first tip is get decent pens. I cannot believe how long I tried to ink in drawings with ballpoint pens. Not only is it tinted blue, but it tends to splatter and make these hideous little bumps all over my drawing. So, um, yeah, I took way too long to switch to real pens. So I got these. These are Pigma Microns, and these work really, really, really well. And you can buy this pack of like five or so of them, and they come in sizes from like really, really tiny. Let's see if this will focus. Yeah, really, really tiny to much thicker. Like the 08 is really thick. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's here. Yes, here it is. So the 08 is one of my favorites. My very favorite is the 05 since it's um, it can be used for thick lines or thin lines hmm why won't it focus okay there we go so these pens are great since you can draw them by holding them straight up and down to make the most of their large tip or you can hold them very lightly and draw thinner lines so you really only need one pen at a time but you can switch between pens Alright, so the second tip is to get a clean sketch. This sketch here is what I call a clean sketch. All the lines that I want to use are plainly set out here, and I know exactly what I'm going to be drawing on. If you have a very messy sketch, unless you're an advanced artist, you won't know where to put the ink, and you might make a whole lot of mistakes. Also, if you don't have a clean sketch, your sketch will look really, really great since problems can be hidden in sketches, but when you ink it, you find out that the eyes are too close together or mismatched or something. So make your sketch really refined and clean and final before you start inking. And then, to prevent ink from smearing, because even these pens will smear a little bit before they're dry, which takes maybe 30 seconds or so, so you're going to want to start on the side of the page that your hand is not resting on. In my case, I would start on the left side of the page since I'm right-handed. And you would start with the very farthest lines away. And slowly holding the pen close to the tip so that you can control it better, start following the lines. So if I had started on this side to draw, say, this part of the hair, my hand would be right in the ink and it would smear all over the place and that would look really, really bad. Unless you have some whiteout or something, smears can be a real pain. So be very careful not to smear your work. Work slowly and carefully and if you want, you can even turn the page around to make things easier for yourself and draw upside down if that's easy or sideways whatever makes it easier for you to ink a very smooth line turn the page so that you can do that Sometimes it can be hard to keep a, a line going nice and smooth, such as this line for instance, because your hand has to stay in one place as the anchor for the pen. So be sure to draw in short lines every now and then and bring the pen up cleanly so that you don't make any mistakes. Sometimes it is possible to drag your hand along the page to follow the movements of the pen, but this is rather erratic. So, you might make a mistake while doing it. I have not been able to drag my hand across the paper while I'm inking, so eh, it's pretty difficult. 
All right, I'm going to go into time lapse to finish this up before I give you the next tip for inking. Alright, once you've gone all over the drawing with the lines for the ink, it's time to erase. So, unless your paper is firmly anchored down, erasing in large strokes like this will crumple it. Uh, so you have to be really careful, you might have to go really slowly. I am an impatient person, so I often just erase crazily and um, then my picture ends up crumpled and that's my own fault but um, one way to keep the paper from crumpling is to erase in only one direction like don't go back and forth while that erases really effectively this motion of in one direction um, keeps the paper intact more often than not so it's a much safer approach For the more stubborn graphite spots, you are going to have to use the back and forth motion though. Alright, now for the second step. If you do have a pack of thicker pens, now is the time to take out the thickest one because we're not done yet. Even though this looks like a fully inked, fully done picture, we are going to take it a step further and this is the most important tip um, other than getting decent pens when you draw when you're drawing a picture try to vary the line thicknesses so this is much easier in digital art programs but when you're doing traditional art like this you have to put it in manually and it will really make a big difference in your art so basically for the hair it has very, very thick lines, and so we start getting down to the bottom. And this is because right here the hair is very thick, but right here it's very thin, so the line will also be thin. So carefully ink along these points and let it taper down at the bottom. Also, because we're using such a thick pen, either stay on the side of the drawing that your hand does not rest on to begin with, or wait for this ink to dry. In my case, I'm going to blow it dry because, again, I'm impatient. Okay, time to work on this side. The outside of a drawing usually has thicker lines too, and this is emphasized in cartoony styles. Not so much in manga, but since the hair forms the main outside, we are going to thicken just about all of the lines. Adjusting line width is also a great way to edit any mistakes you might have made in your drawing. For instance, if this chin, this jawline here, had been sort of wavy, I could apply more ink on one side or the other to adjust the shape of the face. Alright, let's put it into time lapse while I finish this up.
All right, now if you happen to have some whiteout or a white pen, we can go through and fix any inking mistakes we might have made. Alright, so those are my tips on inking. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to be sweet and subscribe and stay up to date on all my new videos. And if you have a request for any video for me to do, a tutorial or something, leave it in the comments and I will see about making it. Again, the pens I use are Pigma Microns and they are so amazing. So if you're still using ballpoint pens that, and you're frustrated with your art, that might be one reason why. So invest in the good art supplies if you want to draw. So that's it. I'll see you sweets later. Bye.